You've heard rocker D. Snyder say it before. Memories. Now Snyder is challenging cancel culture after some trans activists accused him of being transphobic for rejecting gender affirming care for kids. I said one thing that I disagreed with, and I'm transphobic. Because I disagreed with one point out of your thousands of, of thousands of points. I was sending a message out to that vast middle saying, don't accept this, any of this from any of them. Push back. We are the true majority. We are the vast majority. I, I mean, I, I, I grew up, you know, in the 80s. <laughs> oh, and yeah. I listened to a lot of Twisted Sister. But I know you're a huge Twisted Sister fan. Yeah, I mean, we had, I don't, I don't even know that we had MTV because we didn't have cable when I was growing up. But uh, I think I had a neighbor who had this today who think they invented everything. They think they invented like, like, like gender bending. It's like, dude, the people have been gender bending since Shakespeare. If you ever, if you took a Shakespeare class, you would have learned all about gender bending back then. You didn't invent it. It's been around for a while. And, but Tommy, Get I think what's yourself. different is, you know, back then, it was embraced and it was fun, but they weren't attacking religion and they weren't attacking going after kids. Right. And, and so there was a bit of a controversy because the Kiss star, one of the uh, Paul Stanley of Kiss, you know, he's the guy who's got the uh, he got the star on his eye. He said that he was a sad and dangerous fad that the, all this stuff was going on, and he had to rescind that because the cancel culture, boy, they came after yeah. him on that one. First of all, never apologize. Never. Never, ever apologize for standing up for children. How did we get here? And that's just a question for the table because I am not old enough to have listened to this band in its you know, early days. You I, MTV. I now uh, have heard these songs, obviously, but I sit here as a 30 year old and I'm wondering how things got this bad because now we're actually having to defend our position about keeping puberty blockers and genital mutilation away from minors. And we're having to sit here and defend that. Like, we are the intolerant ones. Like, we are the child abusers. Yeah. No, it's the other way around. So this is why these celebrities need to hold their ground and never, ever apologize. Yeah. Uh, Julie, I want to go to this tape of Joe Rogan. He was talking to Robert F. Kennedy uh, Jr. And he said that he lost some friendships. Watch this tape. Did you lose friendships, like personally? Yeah, friends? but that was okay. What? Not much. <laughs> Not no one I really liked. Yeah, it was. Uh, Did you just discover that you didn't like them? Or? No, I just <laughs> I knew there was a lot of cowards. I knew I had like casual relationships with some cowards, and uh, some of them attacked me. And I'm like, good. Now I don't have to talk to you anymore. I've got a lot of friends. What do you think, Julie? I mean, I just think it's really sad that nobody is able to speak up, but if somebody should speak up, it should be parents. And you know, you heard about this girl who was 13 years old at the time who actually had a complete mastectomy because the doctors apparently yeah. believed that she believed that she was transgender. They didn't put her through psychological counseling. They did the surgery. She's now 18 and she's suing. So we're basically making this, this ideology the norm these days. Somebody has to protect these children. And she herself says, nobody advised me to get psychological counseling and her parents were even swayed by the hospitals. So here's the problem. If you can't rely on parents to actually do parenting, then who's going to step in? And it is amazing once in a while when a celebrity actually comes out and says something normal and something that actually makes sense, right? And for him to come out and apologize, I absolutely agree. Don't ever apologize for anything, not just protecting children, just ever. If you believe something firmly, stick to your ground. I mean, it is amazing to me that the people who preach the most tolerance yeah. are the right. least tolerant if you right. disagree with any of their yes. ideas. Yep. And the sad truth of the matter is the, uh, probably our best hope is lawyers going after doctors who do this to patients without any regard for what it's going to do to their... But that someone's life has already been ruined. Oh, yeah, yeah. You no, know, you've got these people back, that try to, they try to detransition. Them. You really can never detransition after they've done this to you. And you brought up psychological treatment. Well, unfortunately, in places like California and many other states, gender-affirming care is not only the norm, but it's the law. Yeah. You cannot say, hey, you think you're a girl, you think you're a boy, let's dig in deeper to that, let's find some childhood trauma that makes you feel like you're another gender. They just say, yep, you're right. You're probably a girl. You're probably a boy. Let's get to surgery. Yeah. And that's a real problem. Yeah. Uh, it's sad what's happening. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.